Yes, the fall semester may be over, but the eSports team at Guilford Technical Community College, they have a lot to celebrate. They recently won the 2023 National Junior College Athletic Association's eSports Championship. That's a big trophy to fit that title on there. <laughs> uh, they finished first out of over 170 teams. So joining us now is Tu Wen, the eSports coach there at GTCC. Good morning. Thank you so much for being with us and congratulations. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So first, tell folks what exactly eSports is and what your program entails. Yeah. So eSports is uh, highly competitive um, for the video games, uh, coordinated teams to compete uh, against multiple, multiple institutions across the U.S. So our teams kind of develop a lot of uh, communications, effective uh, maneuvering, planning uh, against opponents throughout about 12 weeks of competition. This is a big deal uh, considering how young your program is. Uh, share more about your championship win and, and, and how you achieved that in the first place. Yeah, so for this particular team, they've only been in existence for two seasons. So this is the second time they competed the full season together. Um, we planned out the entire semester and for the season we actually ended up third in the regional or we ended up third seed going into the regionals and then qualified for the nationals. Um, and we lost to that team uh, in the regionals and that team was undefeated the entire season. And as we went into the grand finals of nationals, um, things changed a lot because we were very well prepared and back and forth, back and forth in a best of five until we finally secured the, uh, the victory uh, after uh, more than 11 hours straight of competition. Oh, wow. so, oh so geez. Hard. That's a long time <laughs> of competing. How do the teams work? Are there um, multiple titles and what kind of games are there? Yeah, so there are multiple titles to include Overwatch, League of Legends, Valorant, and Rainbow Six Siege and a few others. So they each designate, you know, what is their specialty? What is this team that they're going to concentrate on and develop? Usually they've had previous experience in it. So then I take it a little bit further and I give them drills and everything that they work out every week on. Um, there's practice days every week and then matches every week. So they put in about 10 hours of work every week almost for 12 weeks straight. Wow, a lot of work going into this. So of course it's exciting when it all pays off for that championship. But you were saying that it's still a really young esports team, only two full seasons competing. When and why did GTC, GTCC start this program um, and what have you seen it grow into? So the entirety of the program we started a year ago with uh, a few other titles and the biggest thing was developing individuals in a collegiate sport that allowed them to flourish for their problem solving, quick thinking, uh, and develop more additional soft skills that they weren't ingrained in them yet. And so after you know being able to talk through milliseconds of decision making and doing that against an opponent where your decisions really matter, um, these individuals are almost completely ready for the workforce as they finish their degrees. Um, some of them are going straight into a company that they're excited to be with. So uh, that's what we're developing right now for student athletes in the esports program. Too, my son is a video gamer. I was a video gamer growing up too. In fact, I still am to some degree. <laughs> I, I think it's a hard for a lot of parents to kind of wrap their heads around how is video games, playing video games, a collegiate sport? Can you go through the skill sets that, that these athletes develop over time and what they can gain from this in the future? Yeah, so the ability to solve a problem uh, is immediately met by your opponents within, like I said before, milliseconds, right? Uh, a decision made by a player in Rainbow Six Siege is usually under 200 milliseconds. So being able to decide that take all the uh, conditions of a, of a match into consideration when they decide if they're gonna move to one location or another, position themselves, communicate to their teammates. Um, that cohesiveness and being developed as part of a team to trust each other is something beyond that they really thought that they could do. Uh, building that confidence, being confident in your decision making is a big thing. And sometimes when they first started, one of the things that I told them, hey, you're actually apprehensive and frozen when you try to think of a decision to make you're able to take the decision and just go and make a decision and make a result happen because of it and own your, you know, whatever decision you make, whether it be right or wrong, you can learn and develop further from it. So um, I think that is a big part of that parents can receive is having their kids get that confidence, get that quick decision making and having those soft skills that on top of their tech savvy side and everything. 
Awesome. Thank you for explaining that. And thank yeah. you for your time this morning, too. Congratulations to your team. Folks at home, you can learn more about the eSports program at Guilford Technical Community College by visiting gtcc.edu.